it is day two goose hunting in Colorado it's freezing it's like it feels like one degrees outside so um, I don't know how well the hunting's gonna go I just know it's probably gonna be really cold got got some food got some energy should be a fun day you ready to slam today I'm ready to do it, man. Eat my Snickers so I don't turn into diva. You'll be a great day. <laughs> a great day. All right, Aaron. We gonna, are they going to do it today? Hey, dude. Hopefully. I mean, we got the spread set out. We got the blinds camoed up. Hopefully <laughs> today they're just <laughs> doing it. <laughs> Hashtag doing it. Right now it is 821 AM. We got everything set up, all the decoys out. Looking great. We're on a new field today, different field than yesterday. If you didn't see yesterday's video, I'll link it down below. It's uh, it was pretty good. I'm hoping today is even better. Um, I'm using a semi-automatic with three-inch shells. Yesterday I was using a pump with two and three quarters, so I'm hoping it gives me a little bit more of an advantage in dropping these uh, these big geese. But like I said I'm excited. Goose hunting is something I really do enjoy doing it. So if you guys like goose hunting videos and you want to see more, drop a like right now, leave a comment, and enjoy the video. You tired? It is day three of goose hunting. It's a little windy, it's a little cold. Look at that sky though. What do you want? It's nice and pink. It's got bacon, is that good? That's fine. We've gotta kinda hurry up though. It's getting getting bright out. We're goose hunting again, day three. Got me a sandwich, a little egg, egg and bacon sandwich. It's gonna be fun. So it is 7:45. We got everything set up. I'll show you my blind. My blind's looking looking pretty good here. There's my blind all brushed up. Can you see there? You can't even really see my blind. It, it actually does kind of blend in, but that's that's my blind. Everybody else got their layout blinds out. All the decoys are set out looking good. We're gonna hopefully kill some birds today. It's windy. I'm sure the audio on this is garbage. We're just getting final final touches. It's game time. Got one. First goose. We we kind of still we still suck at shooting, but we got one. There you go. First one of the day, boys. Let's get some mo. You think that was the same four from the first group? I think that was, I think that was the same four from that first group, dude. Well, we just killed two more. I may or may not have hit one of them. I shot at him, but yeah, you definitely did not hit him. <laughs> did you even shoot? I shot twice. Woo! Pair shot twice, guys. So we killed two more. So we got three. We might that might have been from the first group. So the first group that came, in, we had five killed one that sucked and then we had a group of four so it might have been the same group but right now it's a little bit slow but those were we were all i wasn't standing out of the blind Eric and everyone was standing out of the blinds and those guys came in and uh yeah we shot them so let's see where they are you put them on sleepers we got right there right there and right there so far pretty good day we're open hoping for a whole bunch more you having fun Eric?
Got that last one. Got that last one, boys. They're going to look for the specs. We're just chilling. The audio is great. Yeah, you can't even hear that. The audio is great. We're going to look for the specs. They're over there. But we're going to stay here and see if the geese come. <laughs> so, we just shot a bunch of geese. I shot at one three times. It was a really, really far shot. He, he kind of coasted, so we got we to gotta go chase them down. All those dudes are out there running right now. Is that a speck? Yeah. I got We're him. gonna speckle belly, baby. Woo! There we go. Found found the other goose. It was a Canadian, not a speck. We got two specks and then a, and a Canadian. Going to sleep. All right, it's uh, 120. You guys probably still can't hear anything. We're gonna pick up. The wind is like 30 miles an hour and it's cold. Eric's cold. We're all really cold and uh, no birds have been flying for like an hour or two hours. So we're gonna we're gonna pack up all the deeks, drive two hours back to Denver. Well, obviously we are not hunting anymore. We are um, going to get Rob. We're at a taxidermist. So you guys don't know what that means. They stuff animals. So Rob and Outlaw are going to get their two specs stuffed. This uh, should be interesting. And Outlaw. Outlaw's uh, Oh, wow. Look at this. You guys mind if we film? What's that? Are you cool with us filming? Those are bears. No way. That's my goose, dude. <laughs> oh my god, what is that? Big, this is a big ass white one. It's a swan. Is that a crane? Yeah. That's a crane. Are you ever eating them? I heard they're good eating. Like the rib out of the sky. Yeah. That's, that's a crane. That's weird. Like, I've never seen like this bird. You guys comment down below if you think I should get one of my next birds mounted. Goose or, or speckle belly or something like that. Let me know down below. Got a little pronghorn action. Those are snows. Those are, the, those are the little dudes we were trying to get, get after. That's what you're getting mounted today. It's pretty. Hola, amigos. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this goose hunting video. As you can see, I am actually back home. Now what you watched was two days worth of goose hunting. Now as you guys can probably tell, it was a freaking grind. So, Outlaw invited myself, Lake Fork Eye, Perrick, Justin, everybody out to go goose hunting um, for the week. And so we went for three days straight. The first day was okay. If you haven't seen that video, like I mentioned before, I'll link it down below. And then the second day, we showed up to a field, saw a few geese, but didn't even have anyone look at it. Um, none of the geese came in at all. And just wasn't, just we just weren't in the right spot. So we packed up, um, headed back for the day. We actually took uh, Outlaw's Suburban Mudding. Um, I didn't film any of that though, the other guys did. And then the day after that, we went goose hunting again. We drove two hours from Denver, basically to the border of Nebraska. And that's where we went goose hunting for the third day. And we saw a few groups, we had a few groups come in. Um, none of them would actually finish though, like really like on top of all the decoys. They would all stay up top. Um, we couldn't get any of them to actually land. Partially we think that might be, uh, the reason I'm telling you guys this is in case you guys goose hunt and maybe you're not super experienced. Some of you guys know better than I do. Um, but for those of you guys who don't know that are wondering why that happens, a lot of times it just it's different variables. The direction the wind is blowing, it was actually blowing very, very hard. And so it's kind of difficult for those birds to land in super strong wind. They just, I feel like they just get too much hang time and they get a, too good of a look at your decoy spread um, when they're just kind of hovering in the wind versus when there's no wind, they're either coming in or they're not. Other than that, I mean, who knows? Geese are geese, you know, birds are birds. They would not come in. So you guys were probably watching the GoPro push thinking we're shooting way too far out or, you know, we should have waited. We did. We tried waiting on other flocks that you guys didn't really see and it just, it just didn't work. They never circled back. And so we had to take the shots that we did. It was a pretty exciting day because we shot two specs. I, after rewatching the video, I don't know if I actually shot any of those. Um, where I was shooting, uh, I, there was two birds that dropped. But again, there's six, seven dudes there, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna claim those birds. I mean, it's not a big deal. Um, but Rob and Outlaw are actually getting those mounted, so those are gonna be pretty sick. You have to go check out their channels to see that in probably like a month or so when those are done. But anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. I just wanted to, I didn't really film anymore after hunting. We were just exhausted. We had to drive two hours. 
Oh, you missed. We got some dinner and then just hung out, played some poker. I lost. I lost a. a yeah, I lost. Um, some of you guys probably saw that on Instagram. If you guys didn't, um, consider yourself lucky because that was just that was not a pretty sight. Anyways, if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. That's all I've got for today. If you guys want to see more goose hunting, make sure you let me know because actually I plan on going goose hunting tomorrow. So if you guys are like goose hunting out and you're like, dude, Flair, we don't give a crap about any of this, tell me about it. Tell me to be like, hey, like, you know, I like your hunting, but, you know, you really should start doing some fishing or some different types of hunting. Let me know what you guys want to see. That's all I've got. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Was that good stuff? Yeah, yeah.